San Antonio police say they have the man who killed 40-year-old Christopher Olivares in custody. It's been nine months since Olivares was found dead at his southwest side home. The night team's John Paul Barajas was there as police brought that suspect in. So, John Paul, tell us, what have you learned? Stephanie, police identified the suspect as 20-year-old Sebastian Hernandez, and they tell us this was not his first time here at Public Safety Headquarters. His name was given in a Crime Stoppers tip. They brought him in for questioning, but at that time, they did not have enough to arrest him. Today, as he was cuffed and walked to a police unit, he had very little to say to our cameras. Did you do this? Did you kill Christopher? Did you kill Christopher? Do you know who killed Christopher? Are you guilty? Hernandez is accused of stabbing Olivares and stealing his car. It was later found abandoned and burned outside city limits. Police say the two men knew each other, but they did not give a motive. Investigators tell us they can tie Hernandez to the murder through a DNA sample and his appearance in several doorbell videos at Olivares' home from before the stabbing and again the night of the murder. He's claiming his innocence, but we, our, our detectives had enough probable cause and enough evidence to charge him with murder. Police say that the suspect is cooperating and was taken into custody without incident. Murder is a first-degree felony, punishable with up to a life sentence. I've been texting back and forth with Olivares' mother. She says this news is a blessing. At Public Safety Headquarters, John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.